Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Did you ever want to get images into Lightroom, but you didn't want to go through the formal import process? Well, there's a way you could do it. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. Before we begin, let me mention real quick that I compiled a list of my favorite mirrorless cameras, the cameras I feel are the best for several different categories, landscape and portraiture, video, all around use and entry level. My son Joe took my list and wrote an article about the cameras. You could find it on my website. And in the description below this video, I'll have a link to that article. Please check it out when you have time. All right, did you ever just have some images? Maybe they were on your phone and you put them on your computer, or maybe they're just some stock images, or there's something and you just don't feel like going through that formal import process of Lightroom to get them copied from one place onto another and put them into your Lightroom library. Well, there's a very easy way you could get them into Lightroom, and it's kind of a hidden feature, I would call it. Although I guess maybe a lot of people know about it because I have done videos on it in the past. To do it, you don't need to have Lightroom open to begin with, but in this case, I'm just gonna minimize Lightroom. Now, I happen to have three stock images on my computer. I often use stock photos, photos I didn't take, photos I either purchased from Adobe Stock or that I downloaded from one of the stock photo sites like uh, Unsplash or Pexels or one of those places. Um, I use them in my newsletter and sometimes in the thumbnail for a video that I've done. And I don't really want to always just import those into Lightroom. I like to save them, but I don't want to import them into Lightroom, but I want them in my Lightroom. Well, what I do is I know they're stock images in my case. Now they don't have to be stock images. They could be any image you want, but I'm going to go to my Lightroom library and I'm going to go to the main folder. And I happen to have a folder in my Lightroom library called stock photos here. Let's move this over here, right there, stock photos. I'm going to open that up and these are all these stock images and probably 99% of these I didn't take myself, but I like them in my Lightroom library. So I, so I keep them organized. So I want these three in there. So I'm just going to take these three and copy them into that folder. Okay. So they're in that folder. Now I'll close that down and we'll go back to Lightroom and I'll go to my stock photos folder. And if I search through all these stock photos, I would discover that they're not there. They're not in Lightroom yet. I didn't really import them. Well, I want them in Lightroom. Well, super easy to do. You could do it one of two ways. You could go right on the folder itself and right click and then go down to synchronize folder, or you could go up to library and then down to synchronize folder. And when you do that, Lightroom's going to look into that folder and see if there's any images in that folder that aren't already in the Lightroom library. And you can see already I found those three photos right there. Now I could just import them directly from here. If I want to show the import dialog before importing, I could do that. Maybe you're in the habit of putting an import preset on your images or a develop preset on your images. In that case, you would have to open the import dialog. So you could do that there if you want to. Also, you could scan for metadata updates. It's just going to be in this folder. Many times uh, we send images off into plugins. And for some reason, Lightroom doesn't see the metadata changes that the plugin made. So you could do that. You could go right to any of your folders and right click synchronize folder and then click the scan for metadata updates. And if there's any updates, it will update the Lightroom catalog with those metadata changes. In this case, I'm not going to do that. I just want to import these three photos and I'm just, it's synchronized. I'm going to synchronize those three photos. We'll click there and bam, they're in Lightroom right there. Those are the three photos and that's it. That's all you have to do. Now they're synchronized in Lightroom forever. I don't have to worry about it. Uh, so it's a way you could get around using that import dialog box. I know that I, for instance, if I take in images with my camera and they're on the camera's memory card, I always import them through the formal import process. But quite often I have images with my phone 
or images, the stock images. And the phone images, since I use a Mac, I take them out of the Photos app on Mac and just kind of drop them on my desktop on my computer. And then I'll just drag them into the folder I want them in in Lightroom and then synchronize that folder. So that's the way I do it. And with those stock images too, I just synchronize the folder. I don't see any need to go through that formal import process. The main thing I use the import process for is uh, mainly when I am importing images is to put them where I want them. But I also put a, um, a metadata import preset that puts all my copyright information on the photo. Since these are stock photos and they're not mine, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to put my copyright information on it because they're someone else's photos. So this synchronized folder is perfect because I don't have to then worry about going through that whole import dialogue and all that mess. It's much easier this way, in my opinion. So I hope that helps you, helps you better utilize your Lightroom and make it more streamlined for you uh, when you're just organizing your images and put, putting them where you want them. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>